Hey guys, what's up? This is Amazing Animal Adventures, and today I'm going to be going over basic fins on a fish. Now, what I have here is a red-breasted sunfish, and the fins I'm going to be going over in the terminology is going to apply to pretty much the majority of your fish. It's going to apply to sharks as well. Of course, there are exceptions such as lamprey and fish that are really oddly shaped. They are going to have exceptions, but the majority of fish are going to have the same terminology and same fins, in fact. So I'm going to just start with basic terminology on the fins themselves. Uh, we'll start here. This is your pectoral fin, uh, where it's one of those on each side. We have a dorsal fin. Now this particular species has one long fin. Some species will have two fins, but this one has one long. Um, we have pelvic fin. There are also two of these, one on each side. Um, we have anal fin over here, and caudal fin, or tail fin. Uh, please keep in mind that this is not a fin, this is your gill flap. So under there are your gills, not a fin. Um, so now I'm going to go over basic uses of the fins. So your pectoral fin and your caudal fin are going to be the ones most used for swimming, for propulsion and that kind of stuff. Your dorsal fin, anal fin are going to be used mostly for stabilization, keeping the fish straight. Your pelvic fins are also going to be used for stabilization, and in some species they can serve a role in reproduction, but that's not for all, that's just, that's kind of, that, it just depends, species to species. Um, one thing I'd like to point out, just a little side note, is the lateral line. Now this allows the fish to pick up vibrations in the water, a very useful tool. So yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.